Folks, I want to talk to you a little bit about having to set in a saddle. It's really important that when you're in a saddle, your legs are slightly bent just a little bit. If you've got your legs over bent like this, you're going to have knee problems, you're going to have back problems. Us guys, we tend to slouch in the saddle. We tend to slouch in a couch. We tend to do that. Well, when we do, we're going to develop problems. So you want your heels down, your toes up. Notice that when my heels are down and my toes are up, I want to go back. If my toes are down and my heels are up, what happens? I want to go forward. So do you want to be forward on a mule when you're going down a hill? No, no, no. You want to be able to be back, getting back here like this. So always think, heels down, toes up. I just saw a picture of a guy that was supposed to be a mule trainer and he was going into a river and he was, his toes were down like this and he was leaning forward. I thought, what in the world are you trying to do? You know, not only are you putting a mule off balance, but you're off of balance, okay? So that's what you want to ride. Slightly knees bent. You're riding Western style. This is not English. You throw your shoulders back, your chest out, and you ride 60% on your legs, 40% on your seat. If you sit all in your seat, you're going to have a seat problem. Your, your, your bottom is going to bother you. And the other thing, folks, is you need to condition yourself. If you're not in condition, you go out there on the side of a mountain and ride, you're, you deserve to be sore. It's part of that part of life, you know. Uh, so when it comes down to this riding, you want to be able to condition yourself and you want to be able to set correctly. Nice thing I, got, I like about my stirrups, you look on my fenders here, notice how my fenders will move back and forth. So if I need to put my legs way forward going down a steep mountain, I can do it. If, I, if I'm going to be posting, I can do that. If I want to be cantering, I can do that. I can move my legs any way I want, and it's how I designed this fender in this saddle. I ride mountains, I ride trails, and I don't, when it comes down to it, I don't want to spend a lot of time having to be adjusting my saddle and stuff all the time. Now, I do have to do that, but I want to be comfortable, and I can be able to swing my legs with these. Again, that's very, very important. Now, this is a pummel, and when you take and setting in the saddle, as you're setting in the saddle, do not put your feet in the stirrups when you're first testing out a saddle to see if it fits you. I can't tell you how many people sit, I'll have 15 saddles out, and they'll sit in every single saddle, or I'll pick up four or five of them that fit them. And they say, I like this one the best. And you know what? There's no difference in any of them saddles. All the exact same tree. All the exact same padding. It's just that they finally found their seat. Setting in a bunch of saddles is not going to do it. It's how you set yourself in a saddle. And notice, my feet are not in the stirrups. If I put my feet in the stirrups, it's going to kick my, my, my back, my leg back almost three inches. You can see i got three fingers in here. That's too much. When my legs are hanging natural like I should be setting and I'm setting correctly, notice two fingers. You would like to see one to two fingers between your thigh and the pummel. Now, I can't get away with this, ladies, no matter how I do this to you. Because a lot, I, if it's not your rump size, it is your thigh size. So, like I said, I can't get away with it. But this is what you'd like to see. I'd like to see this on an average, two fingers between my thigh and the pummel. At the closest, one finger. Then when I stick my feet in the stirrups and kick myself back, I'm going to have up to three, maybe even four fingers back. And I, I, I'm not even getting my feet in the stirrups. I just kick myself back. Look how I changed it. But when you're sitting natural and you're sitting comfortable, I'm sitting comfortable right now. Notice that when I do that, two fingers. Sitting comfortable. So that's what I like to see in a saddle. It's not your rump size. It's your thigh, between your thigh and the pummel. This happens to be a 16-inch saddle. I weigh about 200 pounds. And... Um, and I'm 5'6", so I've been riding the 16-inch saddle pretty much most of my life. Hope that helps you on fitting the saddle to you, the rider. <laughs>